When Ableton Live 10's wavetable came out, the internet screamed for the ability to make custom wavetables and use them in Ableton Live. Well, guess what? In this video, I'm going to show you a way to hack this and be able to make your own custom wavetables and use them with the wavetable synth. What, 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 what? So let's check this out in Ableton Live. Cool, so here we are in live to prove it. I've got this wavetable. Let's open that up. This is not the basic shapes you normally see. Let's hear it. For some of you uh, sound designers out there, you might realize that this is a sound from Serum. I actually took their wavetable, edited it a bit, which I'm gonna show you how to do, and threw it into Ableton Live. Same thing with if we go to basic shapes beating one, that is a totally different sound as well. It's my own custom wavetable and I'll show you how to do that. The basics of this is pretty easy. It's nothing too crazy. But if you go into your Ableton Live 10, wherever that folder is, so for me on my PC, I went into music making, that's disk drive C, under Live 10, click that. Here you have resources, all those sorts of things. Hit resources. Then you go to DSP and vector, which I've heard was supposed to be the original name of the synth, but they changed it to wavetable. And you go to sprites. Then in here we have all the different wavetables that are possible to use with the synth. Now there's a disadvantage here. Basically, we can't make our own names. What? Please, Ableton, make an update. But what we can do is rename a sample, put it in here and replace it so that we can use it within our synth. Right here you see a vector sprites basic basic shapes dash backup. So if I whatever I want to do, I just go to let's say we have this beating one backup, I just did that. Let's go with beating two. I would under dash underscore whatever that thing is, uh, backup. That way, it's always there. If I ever want to revert to the original, I just delete that, the, the whatever the new one is, and then change the name from backup to the regular name, right? So it's just there, just in case. And what I have is some wavetables here, and let's go with like Serum-4088. I drag this in here, and I would rename it to, what did we choose, Beat1? Just gonna control copy that. Paste it and there. Now, when we are in wavetable, if we go to beating two, you'll see that sound that I want, right? Now, quick pro tip, when you're making your own wavetables to throw into this, you have to have some certain settings correct for the actual dot waveform, right? It's got to be 16 bits and 1024 samples for each waveform. If you don't do that, it won't work. Now, natively within Serum, which we're about to look into, it doesn't set it at 1024 samples for each waveform. So we have to do one thing to be able to export it so we can use it. But that same setting of 16-bit and 1024 samples for each waveform is really important. It's the key to make this work. Otherwise, you'll see a little message at the bottom down here which says you know, something like it's too big or the sample doesn't work. So in Serum, let's say we have this Monster 7 that we want to get that wavetable out and use it in Ableton Live's wavetable. Well, if I hit the little edit button there, I can see everything there, right? It's all looking good. You think you could just hit export, but you have to go over to process and then resize table to be doubled. That will make it the correct 1024 sample size that we need. And then we export as a 16 bit wave Let's say we call this monster there. It's going to save it. Now we've got monster there and let's go with FM fold. I'm just gonna copy that and then rename this backup. Rename it that one, drag that in here. Bam, now in Ableton Labs wavetable, if I went to fold, we see it. Awesome, we are good to go. 
Now let's say you want to take one of Ableton Live's samples and just edit it, or if you don't have Serum, what's another way of creating new wavetables for use with the wavetable synth? For that, I have an awesome program that works with Mac and PC. It's an awesome program for editing wavetables or making your own custom ones from scratch. Let's check it out. So here's the program. It is Synthesis Technology Wave Edit. You can get this off their site. There'll be a link in the description and it's a great tool. So I'm gonna open up a bank. I go to File, Open Bank. And I have this one that I made a backup of. So I'm gonna open it up and you'll see what it does is it loads all the different waveforms that make up the wavetable. And you can even do this cool thing where if you press play, it'll play through it and you can change the frequency of that playback or the speed of that playback. Just a really great way to kind of get a sense of what's happening with those different waveforms. Then once you're here, you can actually start editing this and you've got two ways of doing it from the waveform itself or from the harmonics. 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 And you've got different tools that you can do. So you can grab to make more precise movements for each one of those dots or each one of those harmonics and you'll see how that changes the waveform. Or you can do line. My favorite is actually brush. It has this cool like kind of bouncing nature to it that makes it really easy to make something. Doesn't work as good with the harmonics, but it's still pretty fun. Pencil, I feel, is a lot better for the harmonics. Let's make that a little quieter. Ma'am, look, I already have a new sound and let's play. Let's turn off the morph so we can just hear this single waveform. Awesome. We can make a sound and then we just go to file, save live bank, save bank as. I'm going to save it with that same name minus the backup. Then it's saved right in place. I go to Ableton. If I go to, what was that? Fifth Brutal? Bam, there it is. So that first one is the one I edited back to normal. There you go. I just gave you a new tool that could completely open up what you can do with Ableton Live's wavetable. Just make sure you have that backup one just in case you want to revert back to what was originally there. Have fun making different wavetables and using them Ableton Live's wavetable synth. If you make your own custom ones, please share them. I love to check them out. Give us a link in the comments or hit me up. I'll probably make a bunch of them together. I'm going to hold off for maybe a few months of releasing a huge pack of wavetables because I'm really hoping Ableton Live listens to the screams of the internet and makes it so you can add custom wavetables. Even if I can add different names, like this process is not that heavy for people who are super nerdy around their different wavetables and wanting to make their own. If I could just throw it in with my own naming structure, that's it. That's all I need. That's all I want. You don't have to be able to edit it through the program. I've got other programs I can use. Anyways, hopefully the internet is listening to me and Ableton Live will come up with that update. Subscribe to this channel. There is going to be more videos like this giving you super crazy cool techniques in using Ableton Live's wavetable. And until then, check out the links below to get all the different software and things I've talked about. And remember, every Wednesday, Wavetable Wednesday. More and more Wavetable presets and videos coming at you.